Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, February 1st. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service. Psalm 64, and Hebrews 11, verse 1 through 12. Please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95, to the tune of Pure Nobis. Now come and worship and bow down, and kneel before our Maker. For you're our God, and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, <clears throat> in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. Psalm 64, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the plots of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of evil, who sharpen their tongue like a sword and shoot bitter words like arrows, that they may ambush the innocent recklessly and suddenly, they encourage themselves in an evil scheme. They conspire to lay secret traps. And they say, who shall see us? Who can search out our crimes? But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. They trip over their own tongues. And all who see them shall flee. And all the world shall fear and declare the works of God, for they shall understand God's deeds. The righteous shall be glad in God and shall trust in God, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain. Through this, he received approval as righteous. God himself giving approval to his gifts. He died, but through his faith, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death, and he was not found because God had taken him. For it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith it is impossible to please God. For whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, warned by God about events as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this he condemned the world and became an heir to the righteousness that is, in accordance with faith. 
By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in the land he had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Bridget, and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our praises, O God, and preserve us from all enemies. Lead us in your way and strengthen our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.